This is a package, and I've been procrastinating unboxing this package for the past week. Let's fix that. Oh my gosh, okay, that barely fits in frame, but yeah, inside of here should be about $300 worth of cubes. Wow. As you can see, an insane amount of puzzles here. As always, thank you so much to The Cubicle for sending these cubes out to me. I really appreciate it. They are the kind sponsor of this video. So I'm going to be trying to do more of like a J-Prim style unboxing. So right off the bat, I think I'm most excited for this Cubicle backpack because it is one of their newest releases. This is the current cube bag I have. This is the Chi bag. As you can see, it's ripping from the side. I took out that thing that comes down the middle. And over here, it's just kind of coming apart. So I desperately need a new cube bag. But yeah, I think we should take everything out of the box first. Receipt. And look at this, their card is now a cube stand, so if you just cut along the sides and the indents here, then you can make it a cube stand, which is really cool. So here's everything out of the box. So first of all, you might be wondering, why exactly do I have six of these Maylong 3x3s? Well, it's because I want to make some forced cubes out of it. I'm not going to unbox these cubes during the video. Next up, I ordered some lube. This is DNM 37 and silk. I actually want to start with the cubicle backpack because I want to see how efficient it can be if I want to bring it to like a photo shoot or some cubing competition, for example. Okay, wow. I think it is a lot smaller than I expected. So it has a nice embroidered the cubicle on the side. It's nice and vertical. There's a zippered pouch in the front, which I'm pretty sure you can put small items such as a lube in there, which is super convenient. If we open this up. Here's my Gen 5 timer, so you can easily slide it in like that. On the side of the bag, you have a cubicle logo, which is nice and embroidered, and I like how they put it there. It shows a little bit more colorfulness to this bag. On the side, it's just a mesh pouch where you can put your water bottle or whatever else you might need. Oh, there is another cubicle logo on the side as well, which is pretty cool. Now opening up the main compartment, let's take a look. Wow. That's really nice. Inside, what is this? Is this a, oh wow. Okay, that's a rain cover, I didn't expect that. Okay, so we get some adjustable compartment sleeves. I think I'm pretty used to this because in most camera bags you get something like this and it's really customizable because you can put cubes in here or whatever else you might need. This is another Velcro thing I think to like to keep everything in the bag. It has a decent amount of space. I think it's probably the height of about like one or two cubes, probably two cubes I'd say. So you can probably stack another cube on top of this. At the top compartment, you have a mesh material here to input anything else you like. Probably something small that probably won't fall out maybe like a pen pencil notebook and then underneath here it looks like there is a pouch is this for the computer it's probably for like a small ipad or something because there is a ton of space on the back end right over here as you open this up oh yeah that is where you can fit the laptop so this is just a chromebook that i'm just gonna put in here Let's see if it fits. Nice. So that's probably what I'm gonna be bringing along with me to a lot of competitions. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the sleeves inside here and kind of make it a customizable thing. So from what I can tell while seeing how everything works, you can put the compartments just like this into three separate sleeves. So these longer pieces, you can easily attach on the sides and then you can attach this this over here. You can slide one of these things in right here. Super, super cool. I'm really impressed because this bag is only $40 at the cubicle. Cheaper if you use my discount code. So this is probably what it would look like on the inside. I just rearranged it to, I think, how I would like it. And yeah, it looks like you can fit a bunch of cubes inside. They'll probably move around a little bit, but you can reassure yourself that it'll be pretty protected in this bag. I'd assume you can probably fit two cubes here, two here, two here, two here, two here, and two here. So that'd be like a solid like 12 cubes and then maybe even more over here, so which is awesome. And I was gonna show you guys what it looks like comparative to my back. Here is the bag. It has a nice clip that you could put to your chest. So as you can see, a pretty small bag. It's like can fit like halfway on my back. So this is like my waist area right here. And it's just, down like that. Like you can clip in like this. Nice and comfortable, I'd say. This is what it looks like. I'll do a quick turnaround. As you can see, you're promoting the cubicle. Super cool. I definitely rate this a 10 out of 10 and it is great for $40. Okay, so what I'm next excited for is the WRMs. This is the current one I have, the Maglev version. And I believe inside here, one of them should be the ball core and one should be the standard. The one that I got was sent directly from Moyu, so I didn't get a chance to actually see what the packaging looked like the WRM V9, let's see. Here's what it looks on the inside. As you can see, quite compact, which is nice. I see, I like that box, that's really cool, really innovative. Let's see, how do you open this? Uh, oh, there we go. Wow, that is squeezed tight in there, okay. Here's one cube, this doesn't look glossy, so probably is the standard version. 
Yep, this is the definitely the standard one. I don't feel the UV coating on the outside. I will save that for a little bit later because I want to open this cube as well. Here's the accessories box. I'm sure it'll be the same on both of them. The inside, I don't really feel like opening this, but there's the adjustment tool, pamphlet. Looks like a screwdriver, spring compression stuff. I like how the box design of the accessories is really nice. Here's how the box looks. You close it just like that. Moving that aside, here is the second WRM. Yeah, I can definitely see on the inside. It has like a little bit of blue internals. Right out of the box, I feel it. You can kind of see the glossy plastic. I'm not used to it because for the most part, I always use cubes that are have that frosted plastic design. With this UV coating, it definitely will help with grip. Here's a standard. Here is the maglev and then here is the UV coated ball core version. So you can kind of tell by the inside because the maglev one has the purple internals, the UV has the blue internals, and then the standard just has nothing inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out the standard version first just to see how it feels. Out of the box, super uncontrollable, super fast. Just like the maglev did. The maglev might have felt even a little bit more controllable, but I've set it up now and it feels really great. Very scratchy, I'll play it to the mic. Okay, now here's the cube that could potentially be my main. This is the UV Ballcore WRM V9. Okay, out of the three cubes, this one is definitely the most usable. It's not only because of the grip, but because it just becomes a lot more stable once you have the ball core. I'm curious to see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, that is really cool. As you can see, it's just like a singular ball. Obviously, we'll have to play around with this a lot more, but this has a lot of main potential if I set it up the correct way. Are there edge magnets? There might be, because the magnet strength does feel a lot more noticeable on this UV coating one, so... Yeah, you can feel on the inner slices. I will probably have a full comprehensive review on all three versions of this cube because they are incredible. I really like what Moyu is doing. Okay, so next up here, we're trying out the YS3M. This should be the UV coated one as well, as you can see. I like how they put it nicely on the side. It says maglev UV. I've yet to try a YS3M, so I wanna see how it compares to the other versions of Moyu's cube. This is, oh, Yu Sheng Du. Okay, so this cube is created by him. I believe he was the designer and maker of this nice accessories box. A little bit different from how the V9 had it. Nice and simple. Pretty generic stuff inside the box as well. Here's the cube. Same exact cube box, I can tell. I really like what Moyu's doing here again. It just looks so clean and everything just feels so premium despite this cube being one of the cheaper flagship cubes in the market. So I will tell you guys again, I absolutely love the UV coating on Moyu's cubes. One thing on the outside, it does look like a RS3M 2020 because there isn't as big of holes here. Let's do some first turns on this. Okay, the WRM is very much faster out of the box, while the YS3M is a lot more controllable. I don't think I'll slip with this cube whatsoever. It just feels very smooth, very crispy, especially with the ball core. It just feels like a more premium version of the RS3M 2020 to me. You know what, let's do a, let's do a quick solve. It's a random hand scramble. One, two, three, four. Not the greatest solve. I had a huge pause in the beginning, but for the most part, very solid cube, very controllable. I could definitely see myself getting some good times on this puzzle. I have two cubes here. These are Moyu's Super RS3M. I wanted to pick this up because I want to try out all three of Moyu's newest cube releases. I already have this. This is a standard Super RS3M, so I don't think I'm going to bother opening this. I already opened it in a previous video. Otherwise, this one is the Maglev Ball Core. As you can see, it's listed right here. Maglev Ball Core of the RS3M Super. Quite the different unboxing experience. Wow, okay, you are getting a different cube box, as you can see. One of their older cube boxes, which I'm kind of used to at this point. You can kind of make it into a cube stand. Inside, here's the accessories box. I think it's just one of the classic ones they've had for the past few years as well. Here is the Super. On the outside, it feels not UV coated, which is something I expected. As you can see, it's kind of like hexagonal shaped, the centerpiece. So that kind of differentiates it a little bit more from the rest of the cubes. I actually saw Luke Garrett get a lot of great three by three times with all three of these cubes actually. So I'm <laughs> excited to try it out. Ooh, very tight out of the box. 
as you can see it's not budging a lot there's the golden internals inside it feels just like a more sped up version of the regular standard rs3m super not much else to say i think i could see myself locking up on this cube but i don't think it is the best out of these three but definitely is the most budget friendly because you are getting a great bang for your buck this cube is probably about 20 dollars. let's do a first solve on it $11.95, not a great solve. If I were to rank these three cubes that I just got, I would probably have this first, the Super, then the YS3M, and then the Weilong B9. I have to do a lot more testing with these cubes because these are, again, new releases that I still need to formulate my own opinion on. All right, now finally, time for a non 3x3. I ordered so many 3x3s. Here is the Aoshi WRM 6x6. The MGC 6x6 is currently my main at this point. It is very slow. It was the Angstrom version of this cube. Yeah, I feel like the size of it is massive. I I tried this at pen cube day for my friend and the cube is amazing i broke all of my six by six prs the single and average so this is very promising Ooh, i like this a lot so i also have the seven by seven version of this cube and i really liked it a lot also because of its smaller form factor easier to grip and it's just a really pleasant solving experience because it's smooth and tactile feel here's the cube oh very small <laughs> as I expected. So outside, it is feeling pretty frosted. So looking at it from the outside, you can tell there's primary internals. So let's try it out. Okay, pretty scratchy out of the box, but very nice. I can definitely feel the magnets clicking and a lot more easy to control than something like this, where it just feels kind of unstable. But of course, this will probably need some break-in, so I'll add some silk, maybe some DNA. A few months after unboxing the Aoshi WRM, I've now deemed it as my main in comparison to the MGC because of its crispier turning and fluidity. I can get consistently better times, but I'm most excited that it clears up more space in my bag because of its smaller size. Look at all this. I have all this cube stuff on my desk. <sighs> I should probably clear this off soon. Let's go for the last thing for this unboxing, the GAN Smart Timer. GAN has been promoting this all over social media and I'm super excited to test out. The box is so premium, look at that. Here we go, and on the texture on the side of the box, as you can see, you feel that. And here we go. Look at that premium timer experience, wow. So this timer has a headphone jack and a USB-C port for charging. Recently, I learned how to connect this timer to CubeDesk and CS Timer through Bluetooth, which saves me so much time during a long cubing session. So here's the instruction manual. It basically says that to reset your time, you press the button once, hold it down to power it off, and double tap to see your previous times and average of five. You can also toggle between different color options and different light settings, which is really cool and I really like the customizability here. Here's my first solve with this timer. I find it very compact and easy to travel with. However, if you are using something like the G5 or the G4 timer, it is difficult to get used to after using it for so long. But for the most part, I really like what GAN is doing here and with their minimal design. Another bonus is that this timer has a grippy bottom, which allows it not to slide when it's on flat surface. Hi, this is Editor Max for now. So due to the mishap on my microphone when I was recording this, unfortunately the audio kind of got messed up, so I did not record an outro for this, so kind of do it now, I guess. I hope you're entertained from this video and kind of seeing these new products from the cubicle. If you want to purchase any of these, please check the links in the description down below. If you like, you can use my discount code 5TUFFS, 5TUFFZ, to support the channel and the cubicle. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.